everyone, I am back today with a new series as promised and it is called Technique Tips. I've mentioned this to all of you before, but each video in this series is going to focus on one element of your dance training, of your ballet training um, that you all want to work on, you want to improve. And today's is something you've all been asking me for and that is how to pick up combinations quickly as well as choreography quickly. Um, this is also a very easy one for me to film so I thought it was a good springboard for us to start on this. And you can implement all of these tips immediately, no problem. Now as we go through this series, I will be sharing with you my strengths, my weaknesses, what I need to work on. I have absolutely no problem being honest about all of that with you. But this particular thing, I am exceptional at. I am a very quick study. I'm known for being a quick study. I can get choreography and combinations the first time. So I am the perfect person to help you all with this. I have a lot of tips and tricks that I know can help you. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Which brings me to my first pointer, if you will, and that is that this does not happen overnight. Nothing in ballet does, nothing in dance does. You all know that. You didn't start off doing triple pirouettes. So this is going to take a little work. Please don't get frustrated or disheartened. I know you all sometimes feel like this is impossible, but it's not. I didn't start, start off as a quick study. Um, I gradually developed the habit over time, and you can too. I promise you. So the biggest thing about picking up choreography, combinations, whichever, very, very quickly and the first time is that you first must learn whether you learn audibly or visually. And what I mean by that is do you learn better by hearing the combination or by watching the teacher give the combination? Um, everybody has one or the other. I for sure am a visual learner. If you've ever taken class with me or watched me take class or have watched me learn choreography, I literally just stand there and stare. It's like I almost stare the teacher down, but it works for me because I tune everything else out and just watch them give the combination. I don't even need to hear them give it. So this is a little test. I'm going to give you all this little exercise to see which one you are so you can figure it out. So I'm first going to give you a combination with just the audio. This is just me talking. You're going to see a little blue decorated screen and me just saying the combination to all of you. Then I'm going to play some music and I want you to see if you can do that combination just by hearing it. Then, then I'm going to give you a completely different combination with just the visual. Entirely different so you can't cheat from the previous one. And then I'm going to give you the music again and see if that was easier for you. Now I don't expect this to be perfect from all of you. It's very very difficult just by doing one or the other. Usually people like elements of both. But this is just an exercise to see how you learn. Because that is how you're going to pick up combinations quickly is knowing how you learn. So here we go. Here is the first combination with just the audio. So starting in the center we're going to face on fast directly to the mirror. Tendu front to fifth and two quicker. Pique front to susu, plie, relevé passe, close back. Left side. Tendu front, fifth, two, faster. Pique up to susu again, plie, relevé passe, close back. Now four tendus to the side, closing back and two, three, four, coming forward to the side, three, four. Pique up to susu again, plie. One single pirouette, two fifth, left side pique susu, plie, single pirouette, two fifth. Now start the whole thing back. So tendu back with the left foot, fifth, two, in fifth. Pique back to susu, plie, relevé passe, coming forward. Right foot back, fifth, two, quicker, pique back, plie, passe forward, and fifth. Four tendu side coming forward, and two, three, four, going back, and two, three, four, pique back to susu, same on dior pirouette, fifth, pique back to susu, on dior pirouette, and finish.
Okay, now I'm giving you a completely different combination with just the visual. See how that goes for you. now you've learned a little bit about yourself, whether you learn audibly or visually, and that's what you want to focus on. You don't want to completely ignore what, what they're either saying or doing, but you really need to hone in on that aspect of your learning process. Um, my, my other big advice when the teacher is giving you something or that you're being choreographed on and you're learning a ballet, don't mark along with them. Unless you really need to do it, um, I would recommend either just listening or focusing because you'll miss things. If you are, if the teacher is giving the combination and you're in the mirror doing it along with them, you are bound to miss a head, an arm, something specific that they did. Um, I find that if I just focus on the combination, I get it that much quicker. Usually, either in choreography setting or if you're in the center of class, you will mark the combination before you do it anyway with the music. Um, or the, the choreographer will have you mark and just kind of refresh. That's when you can do it. For, for starters, just focus on them. Pick up everything they're saying, pick up everything they're doing, um, and you will get it quicker. So don't stand there and tondu with them while they're, they're, they're giving you a tondu combination because you are definitely going to miss something. My other advice as far as this goes is that notice patterns. You all probably are mostly students or you're in a company and have all the same teachers all the time. Unless it's a master class situation and you have that teacher that one time, your teachers are going to have the same patterns of teaching. You'll know whether or not they give a certain kind of combination or they don't. So notice things. Notice, okay, well, okay, now we're going to do tondus. Oh, they always do pirouettes after this. Oh, we always do two small jump combinations and then a big jump combination. So as far as class goes, notice patterns because a teacher is not going to really deviate from their style. There are very few teachers that give one class one day and a completely random second class another day. So I noticed with my teachers at Eve, company, school didn't matter. They all had their own style of teaching. And so that helped me remember the combination because I picked up on their sort of tendencies or their MOs, their modus operandi. So if you do that, that will also help you. Oh, this is so-and-so, I know she likes giving this. That's another way to pick it up. Now, as far as choreography goes, it can be a little tricky um, especially if it's a new ballet, but again, I really like watching them or listening to them if that's that's the way you learn 
and not marking while they're doing unless they ask you to because some teachers will say don't dance just watch don't dance just listen and there's a reason for that because they want you to pick up everything the other key to all of this is the music you're not going to jump to an adagio kind of self-explanatory so be aware of the music especially if you're learning a variation or especially if it's a classical ballet Sleeping Beauty, Swan Lake, the music dictates what you're going to do. Um, make Really be in tune with that. Because otherwise, again, it's kind of a common sense thing. Okay, now we're doing adagio. It's going to be a four count développé, or is it a two count développé? But it's not going to be up down. You know what I mean? So you really want to be in tune with the music. So again, as I've said before, this is about practicing this and getting better at this. Let me know if this helped you. Let me know if you're a visual learner, an audible learner. Um, if you have any tips for this, I'd love to hear your comments below. Also, again, I've mentioned this, but I will be doing my second Conversations with Katie coming up this Monday, so be sure and get your questions in. I will be doing them anonymously because I, I realize after the first one that some of you might have been embarrassed to have me read your names, so I do apologize if you were, but I want you to feel if that you can ask me anything. So I will be doing them anonymous, anonymously, no names, I will just be reading the questions and answering them. So I love you all, I hope this helped, and I will see you on Monday.